Hi guys, so today I've got a Trend Army Camo inspired makeup tutorial. It looks a little bit like this and I hope you like it. Just a little side note, I'm having a little trouble with the camera and the lighting at the moment because I've just switched to a temporary new camera and it's a really good camera but I can't figure out how to set all the white balance and the um, lighting, whatever it's called, on the camera. So for some reason the video looks a tiny bit yellow. Um, I'm not sure if holding up a piece of paper will work. If you know anything about white balances on cameras, please let me know because it would be really, really useful and I'd be so grateful to know how to sort it out. But, um, yeah, so I hope you like this look. And don't forget to watch it, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to take is the Sleek Primer Palette. I'm going to use this green colour which is here on this small synthetic brush and take a little bit of this and then apply it to the lid. This will act as a nice base for our eyeshadows and make them look a lot more vibrant than they would be originally. Just applying that all over the lid. Then I'm going to take a little bit on the side of my brush and just make a wing from the outer corner going towards the eyebrow and then just drawing that in. Once I've done that I'm going to fill in the triangle The first eyeshadow colour I'm going to take is this colour called Zephyr. Take this white shimmery colour and apply this to the brow bone. Just under the brow. Then I'm going to take a sort of skin colour and apply this in just above the crease. I'm actually going to use this piece of card, this is just a perfume sample card, place this under my eye and then do the eyeshadow, so this will prevent any fallout from landing on the skin. I'm going to take this colour called Bender, which is like a foresty green colour, on a flat shader brush, and then just, I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. Starting in the middle, just packing the colour on. I'm going to avoid the inner corner. Then I'm going to follow this wing shape. Cream colour, dark green colour, which has lots of shimmer in it. This is called Cobra. I'm going to pack this on the outer third of the eye. Then I'm going to take this pretty teal colour called Hijack. I'm going to put this in the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm going to take my trusty MAC 217 brush and just blend this out, starting at the inner corner 
and little circle motions. I don't want to over blend this, but I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And then in little windshield wiper motions as well. Just blending this out. I'm going to go into a dark brown colour and I'm taking Lost from this palette. Any dark brown will do though. On the tip of a fluffy blending brush, tap off the excess quite a bit, and then I'm going to blend this into the crease. The light hand. Then I'm going to take a clean blending brush. I'm using the number 7 eyeshadow blend and contour brush. I'm going to take a needy skin colour and just slowly blend this out to tone it down a little bit. You can even take some on your finger and just put it on and then blend it in. So just soften the look a little bit. Then on the same brush, the same fluffy brush, I'm going to take that white highlight colour and just put some more on. Blend that in. Then I'm going to go back to my MAC 217, take a little bit more of that dark brown colour. Just blend a tiny little bit more in. Then I'm going to take a gold sparkly eyeshadow light gold and just put this on the inner corner of my eye then I'm going to take that bender colour we used earlier the foresty green and just use this to line my lower lash line Then I'm going to take that cobra colour, the dark dark green with like gold sparkles in it, just put this on the outer section of that lower lash line. I'm just going to blend it in with my finger. That. Then I'm going to go on to eyeliner, I'm going to use Maybelline's gel eyeliner and the brush it came with. I'm not going to do that thick of a line at first because we're going to build up later anyway. Just going to lightly line the upper lash line with a small ring at the outer corner and then I'm going to line the inner rims of my eyes with a gel eyeliner and I'll put this in fast forward. So now we've done the eyeliner, next we're going to go on to curling the eyelashes. It's just a cheap eyelash curler from Primark. Just curl my eyelashes. I 
in the middle. And, oh. and then I'm going to apply a good mascara. I'm going to use my favourite mascara. I love this so much. This is the L'Oreal 40 Million Lashes in Extra Black. Wiggling it from the right to the tip. 